Hi, it's Kerry with Filmmaker Central. I realize it's been a while, but sometimes life gets in the way of things. But today, we're gonna to take a look at a couple of new things. First off, we're gonna take a look at the new Fusion Transitions. So stay right there. We'll be right back. Okay, so one thing I have been waiting for for a long time and a lot of other people have is a good way of building our own transitions. Now, sure, we could have gone into Fusion and taken Media 1 and Media 2 and done, you know, added some effects and things and done it. But then to save that as a preset that you could just drop onto the timeline, it didn't, it didn't exist. Uh, so creating presets or, or transitions that you could sell as a pack or something it just wasn't really a possibility. But today it is. And so I'm going to get right in and show you Fusion Transitions. I think they're super cool and I hope you're going to like them. So here we are. I've got my timeline here. And if we are on the effects library, make sure we have that opened up and we go to our video transitions up here and we just scroll down, we'll see fusion transitions. And there's three types of transitions, a cross dissolve, a noise dissolve, and a slice push. Not a huge fan of the slice push, gotta say, a little cheesy, but hey, whatever. It's a starting point and these can show you how to build your own transitions. And that's what's super cool is Almost anything you can do in Fusion, you should be able to do as a transition by building it properly. And that's what I'm super excited about, is not so much that it has some transitions in it, but the ability to create our own. So let's look at what we have. So I'm gonna play this clip right here, and we'll see the three basic types of transitions. There's a cross dissolve, Really nice cross dissolve. I'm really happy with that. The next is going to be a noise resolve or a noise dissolve. So we have this cool little noise effect there. And then I'll skip ahead to the slice push. And it's kind of a Venetian blinds kind of thing. So those are your three basic fusion transitions that are built in. And now we can go in and we can set parameters on them. So I'm going to close my effects library here so we have some room to work and I'll zoom in to the timeline and you can see I've just dropped a cross dissolve on here and we'll click on that and go up to our inspector and under cross dissolve yeah there really isn't much to it uh, it's a pretty basic thing we have some fusion stuff that's not really relevant and then we have our resolve and we can change our duration in seconds or frames and our alignment, center on edit, start on edit, end on edit. And um, really isn't a whole lot else to it. There's no other real options here, but that's cool because it's a very, very clean cross dissolve. And that's what I like. The cross dissolve that's in the standard transitions, I just didn't really care for it, but now, the Fusion one, I think, is super, super clean. So here, let's take a look at it again. Just ultra clean. So very jazzed about that. So let's go over to the noise transition, and we'll take a look at that one again. So it kind of does this wipe from the top to the bottom. You can kind of see the transition there. And let's make sure we have that one selected. And we can choose what type it is, the softness, and the amount of animation, and whether it has a border. If we select a border, we can choose a color. So here we can see it's gonna do kind of a color wipe. And then on the next panel here, the noise, we can kind of determine how that is going to work. So we have the amount of detail, the seethe, which is kind of a randomness value, discontinuous, inverted, and our start and end points. So in order to kind of understand this, you have to know how 
Fusion looks at the screen. And it's not zero, zero in the upper right-hand corner and one, one in the bottom right-hand corner. So uh, it's a little different than that. So right here, we're kind of in the middle of our transition. And notice it's going from top to bottom. So if I wanna reverse the top to bottom, I'm gonna change my start to zero and my end to one. And now it will go from the bottom up. So you have some kind of control over there. If I set both the start and end of the, the Y axis to a set number and change the X axis, then I could get it to go left or right. So there's some cool things that you can do there. There's an offset, repeat, ping pong. So there's a number of different options that you can choose there. And let's go over to the next one, which is our slice push. And we have the number of slices. So you can see here there's eight slices, the angle, the shadow, shadow softness, and shadow offset. Again, I'm not a huge fan of this particular one, but in some types of projects, uh, I guess it could work out well. And we'll go to the resolve tab on here. We can set the duration and the frames and some center points, but there's, there's not a lot of other options here. Let's go back to one of the basic ones here. Let's, let's look at the cross dissolve. So we're on this guy and I wanna make sure I select it, right click on it and go open in Fusion page. So this will open up Fusion. So this is gonna open up Fusion with our transition here. So pretty simple, if we look at this, we have our media one, our media two, so our first clip, our second clip, and it's gonna go into this cross dissolve. Well, what does this do? Well, this is just a group. So if we double click on it, we can open it up and see what it does. And it's just doing a dissolve between the two nodes. And that's really it. So very, very simple that it's a dissolve going from the foreground to the background. Pretty, pretty straightforward, nothing too exciting here. And then you can save this as a preset. So if I make changes to this, I can just right click on here and say, create transition preset. And it's gonna ask me what I wanna name it. So if I modify it, I can change it to something else. So noise dissolve, let's right click on this one and go to our fusion page. So this one, a little more complicated, but it's still a dissolve that has fast noise piped into it. So again, a very basic uh, effect going on here that we're just doing a dissolve with some random noise to give it that um, kind of organic feel to it, the way it works. And then we can set some parameters on those uh, starting and end points that you see over here. So kind of cool stuff that you can do with fusion transitions. And I expect that we'll start seeing transition packs. Hopefully some people, maybe even myself, will put out some free transition packs to uh, help you get some stuff done and make it look kind of cool. So I hope this was interesting. And uh, again, thanks for all the support out there. All the guys who have asked and, and gals who have asked you know, where I've been. Um, I've just been super, super busy with work. and I, you, can, you may even be able to see some boxes here. I'm a little unorganized because I'm getting ready to move as well. So I got a lot of stuff going on in my life. So I just, I haven't had the time to put into the channel, but I got a lot of stuff planned and I hope to see you all real soon. Thanks for watching everybody. Like, share, and subscribe, of course. Of course, if you want to, smash that like button. Really appreciate it. Thanks for watching everybody. This has been Kerry with Filmmaker Central. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.